Uh, an astrophotographer from Somerset has been shortlisted for this year's Astronomy Photographer of the Year competition. Now, Josh Jury is a regular here on BBC Points West, and he's been sharing his passion for the night sky with us for several years now, although he's a young chap. Uh, he's with me now. Welcome. Uh, congratulations getting this far. Just talk us through the picture which is going for this uh, major competition. Sure, thank you for having me, David. So the photograph of Callanish Stone Circle has been shortlisted for this year's Astronomy Photographer of the Year competition. And it was only earlier this year that I received an email in my spam folder saying this image had been shortlisted. And to give you some context, this image of Callanish Stone Circle, I visited the Outer Hebrides last year. So to see this on the Isle of Lewis during a very rare period of clear skies really was an enigma to see. How long did it take you to get the shot that you wanted? Not very long, fortunately, because the camera which I have here gathers a lot of light. So when capturing that image and also having Aurora alerts going off on my phone, it was just a night to remember. Good. Just have a look at, may I have a look at your camera? Of course I mean, you can. This, this is not the camera you just set up on the end of a phone, is it? No, is this is a yeah, very specialist piece of astrophotography equipment. Is it? So, yes, a very wide lens, lots a lot of light in, so it's able to capture the lovely details of the Milky Way. Okay, perhaps we'll have a photo shoot afterwards. <laughs> if you like uh, to. Just talk us through some of your other pictures and your, and your passion for this. Sure, definitely. So my passion began at the age of seven years old when I was watching science fiction stories about the planet Mars at the age of seven years old. And it was at this point, you know, living in Somerset, I wanted to capture some of these landmark images. And really, it's taken me on a journey ever since to become a freelance astrophotographer. And so really, there's been so many opportunities to travel the world and Cannish being one of them. OK, and, and what, are the, what sort of things should we be looking at for in the night sky around now? So now is a really good time to see the northern lights in particular. Only a couple of days ago we had a really strong alert and so to be able to see that you know at this time of year from the United Kingdom is quite a spectacle to see here from the southwest. We'll also see the Milky Way due south as soon as the skies get dark and even if you step really early into the morning hours you'll be able to see Venus just before the, um, the sun rises. Okay where do I look for that Venus? So you want to be looking due east just before the sunrise. Okay, well, oh, of course it would be in this. <laughs> um, big question. Have you seen anything out there? Is there are we alone in this uh, universe? Well, this is the thing, David. When you look at the night sky and you just look at the depth of the universe, like that night at Cannonish, you see the whole universe almost come down on you. And you think, you know, the fact that we're here on this ball of work orbiting, you know, our sun, it does make you think there has to be life out there. It always ponders my mind. Yeah, I wonder if we'll know in our lifetimes. Well, we shall, we shall have to wait and see, I guess. Thank you very much indeed for coming in. You're expecting the result, aren't you, any second now? It's any minute on my phone, so I may not win, David, but the point is, you know, to finally be shortlisted for this competition, it's wonderful. Don't go away. We're going to go to the weather, and I want to see if you've won. Here is the weather with Dan Dance. Well, the funny thing is, Dan, it's be dark in an hour's time. Um, Look, you're still with me, obviously, you know that. You've got your phone. Yes. Uh, just have a look, <laughs> see what the news is. I think it's being announced as we speak. So, um, yes, we'll have to wait and see, hopefully. But no. unfortunately, but the thing is, David, you know, it had been six months since I picked up a camera when taking that photograph. And so, you know, to be able to capture this image and then be shortlisted for this competition, it was emotional. You've left us on a cliffhanger. I'm afraid so, yes. So on that <laughs> bombshell, we have to say night-night. I'll be back at 10 with an update uh, from all of us here. Bye-bye. Take care.